up y'all um all right so this will be my end of the year wrap up here for 2020 i feel like shit uh family thinks i have covid but ever um it's been uh it's been rough since yesterday um my stomach's doing backflips my eyeballs are sore <clears throat> got this weird like dry cough my body feels weak skin is like tingling i don't really know what it is i hardly ever get sick but i don't know it's just weird um hopefully it'll pass within the next couple of days <coughs> i have a covid test tomorrow tomorrow morning so yeah we'll see how that goes um kind of just wanted to touch on this year as a whole sort of talk about some of the things that i've learned and and sort of some things to take into next year uh, it's been i spent most of the year um in a relationship uh that sort of went sour uh if you know you know if not it's whatever um and um yeah that that kind of took a lot out of me uh a lot um just because you know sometimes when you spend uh, that much amount of time with somebody you have this idea about people and then it kind of just like shatters in front of your face um yeah that really that really uh messes with you a little bit uh you know and you can't really take uh the bad from certain things and bring it into other things um which is something that a lot of people including myself have to learn um you know and i i recently was looking through just my snaps and, and stuff like that and i saw this post that i had posted um back in march of 2019 and it was talking about uh women um i'll put it on screen um but basically what i'm saying is here is like there's a way to approach people especially if you if you want something real in life you have to if you know that um if you have a um someone in your life that you desperately care about please just do things the right way right don't 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 be a dumbass you know what i mean like don't just do things the right way open up their hearts first before anything right get them to trust you you know to actually feel something real towards you before making any uh moves i'll say um but 2020 has been quite interesting i mean i started another another restaurant um at a, at a different restaurant uh, which was nice um you know worked out a lot and kind of getting myself back together started boxing which is nice i am gonna hopefully be taking that more seriously um met just amazing people i mean got got some people together um opened up my opened up my friend circle again uh, which was a big thing for me uh because i'm usually the uh been pretty introverted in the past years sort of went through a period where, <coughs> where it was just a period of time in which i isolated myself from everybody um things didn't have to be that way uh but i thought they did simply because i didn't want people sort of inside my head and i didn't want to put my struggles on other people and so in a way i sort of just isolated just everyone around me um which obviously of course isn't the best thing to do it's not the healthiest thing to do uh but in a way i thought that was the best thing to do in my specific circumstance um you know i had to learn to be more open when it came to letting people in and sort of spreading myself to other people and, and giving people that time you know what i mean um <clears throat> now obviously i can't just do it with anybody i mean i feel like the people who who i consider to be my my closest friends i mean borderline even like family because i believe the friends are temporary family is forever so I feel like when I do have those, we talk about resolutions all the time. We talk about 
doing things differently or trying to do things differently um, the next year, the next time. But it's like, you know, to me, it's like, why wait? You know what I mean? I, you know, these past few weeks, <coughs> you know, starting this YouTube thing back in October, um, I sort of within like the, the uh, somewhere in November, I think, end of November, I, uh, or beginning of December, <coughs> I can't remember exactly when. But um, I started doing this thing um, every Monday, um, my sort of mental health talks. And that was sort of a way to uh, sort of not only go through the things that are that are just irking my mental state, but also just talking about general things that that uh, sort of the world sort of deals with on a, on a mental basis. Um, because I believe that mental health is more important than than physical health. It's more important than it, it's it's probably one of the most important things when it comes to self care. Because if your mental state is not all the way there, everything else just just crumbles, right? Um, like a couple years ago, when I was in a bad mental state and I sort of just I gained weight and this and that, and and it was just not a good time, right? But that was because my mental state was so bad. Had my mental state have been better, right? Um, I would have never gone through that in the first place, right? I would have kept. I would have stayed consistent in the gym. You know, I would have never been <coughs> going to McDonald's every single day. I would have never done those unhealthy things, unhealthy habits, right? Because my mental state is better, right? And it's sort of a way also for, for other people as well to sort of come in and talk about their life and, and what's going on and stuff like that. I feel in a way that opening yourself up and, and letting these things out helps you to deal with them. Um, in a way, instead of bottling them up and going to bed and just having these thoughts just plague your mind every night towards all you think about. And it sort of puts you in this this mental, the cold, the state of, of not confusion, but this state of, of like the stasis period where you're just stuck and you don't really know what to do. Um, I, I've talked with a few people so far. Um, one of the guys from my stream, Rev, uh, shout out to him. My boy Andy came on to talk. Um, got a couple more people joining this next week. Um, but I, I really do enjoy talking about the, the, so these sorts of things, right? It's kind of also a way for me to give back to a community that gave so much to me, especially when I was going through tough times too. Like the YouTube community was, was, was big for me. Like just, it sort of just kept me afloat. You know what I mean? I would just sort of things that kept me grounded, one of the things that kept me, like, somewhat, you know, somewhat on track, you know, I'd watch people and, and watch their, use them as motivation, you know what I mean, um, one example, a YouTuber, the Black Hokage, is one, um, who I, like, really appreciate, like, really, like, look up to, um, because I've watched his channel go from, go from, from one thing like years ago to now transferring into like giving knowledge like to the youth and like spitting game like to the youth which is like super dope like and in a way my sort of thing is like even if i'm only helping like one person somebody like just somebody right if i could help just one person if i could be that one thing the, the thing for for just one person to 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 sort of look to one person to like you know to 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 watches and is like like what that dude is saying like means something to me you know what i mean like that's that's really like all that all that like matters to me you know i i do want to i do want to continue that through 2021 um and i do also just want to say like <coughs> also don't be a hypocrite please don't let's follow our own advice you know if you give advice to other people follow it as well you know be an example and don't take anything or anyone for granted. That's that's literally like that's probably that and like just overthinking and, and blocking your blessings is like those are probably like the biggest things that I've come away from this year. A lot of the times we, you know, our, our state of mind can sort of block the things that are that are good in our life that we can't we can't do that. You can't. Right. Because a lot of the times, like, well, you know, you, you can't really replace certain things, right? You can replace materialistic things, but you can't replace people or relationships, right? You can't. No matter how hard you try, 
you know, all this stuff around me, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's a materialistic thing, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a gadget and, and electronic. It's a, it's, a, it's like something that I could just look up in a store and just get again, right? But people, you can't just do that with, you can't just go online and just, you know, go in and, and get new, like, it, it, okay, it, if you want something genuine and real, you're not going to sit here and, and you can't pay for people's, sorry about that, um, but yeah, so please just take that into consideration, it does, that's one of the biggest things I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take into consideration going into 2021, learn what really matters in your life, and you need to learn that at a very, very early, um, because if you don't, I mean, I feel like your life is just going to be a shit show, you have to learn that, learn that pretty early, what what really matters if you don't sit down and think to yourself like okay what's what's really important in my life <coughs> like what really matters um I, I think you should definitely do that anyway yeah don't let the the losing of someone or don't let the distraction of a relationship be the reason that you start to to to, to get right like that you start to, to pl- don't do that you know Sometimes in life, you know, a lot of people say that it, it takes losing something. It takes <clears throat> it takes that to to knock you into the, the headspace that you need to be in moving forward. Right. You know, and, and don't don't be like that. Don't do it. I'm telling you, like, get right now. Don't don't hold it off. Don't say next week. I'm gonna get better next week. I'm gonna do it next year. I'm gonna do it. No, do it now. Like, I'm telling you, these things cannot be replaced. I promise you. I walked into my room today after that, after today, I came home and I just walked in my room and I looked at everything around me. I looked at, you know, my headphones, my, these, these stupid two pair. I looked at my, 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 my PS5 and my control. Like I looked at all this stuff that's supposed to be bringing me happiness and stuff like that. My lights, this freaking, this new TV, my lava lamp, my, my everything that I have in this room, these, these plethora of new clothes in my closet, like all this stuff, like. I, I don't care. I didn't care at that point. It doesn't matter. All this, all this stuff in my room could be stripped out from it. And I wouldn't, I, it doesn't matter to me because it could be replaced. That's a word, word of advice you can replace all this materialistic stuff around you, but the relationships that you have, the deep connections that you have with people, the love that you share with people, you cannot replace that. It doesn't matter. You can go and find someone else all you want. You can go and try and find that similar thing. It's never going to be the same. I promise you that doesn't matter how similar things feel from one girl to the next, from one situation to the next, you know, it's not the same, you know that, right? It's like when you jump from one thing to another and you start to think about the things from a, from a past relation, it's not the same. It's not, you cannot exchange people's lives for another. You cannot replace that. You cannot ever do that ever. This PS5 breaks tomorrow. I, I'll get another one as hard as it'll be as much as hard as it was to get this stupid thing. I can get another one. This, this freaking $3,000 laptop friend, this thing could break, I can get another one. These lights break, I can get another one. This mic breaks, I can get another one. You lose people in your life, you sometimes cannot get that back. And I, I've learned that the hard way. You cannot get it back. There's certain things in this world, in this life, that you need to just treat differently. And people is one of them. My car, I was, you know what I mean? I could care less. Like, it doesn't matter. It, it just, none of this matters. If you, if you can't, it, it's okay to care about this sort of thing. It's okay. Like I can care about my electronic, like I take care of, you know, but at the end of the day, taking care of yourself, your being and the people around you are, is more important than, than everything around you that you could possibly think about. Th- that's more important. So yeah, man, that's, that's it for me. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to take myself to bed and, uh, rest uh no alcohol for me tonight <laughs> uh but yeah hope y'all are, are staying staying happy staying healthy staying hydrated all that good stuff um let's let's you know 2020 the 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 downfalls of 2020 are not over yet i mean the corona's still around this isn't just going away just because it's january 1st stuff like that things are still going to be a little weird but all we can do is just be better you know use this time to better yourself and uh, make the right decisions now right do the do it the right way now 
you know, while we're while we're young. Uh, for all my twenty year old twenties people out there, um, you know. So yeah, uh, that's it for me. Please, please, just take what I said to heart. And uh, you know, let me. I'm gonna take a take a nice uh, swig of water. For, uh, 2021. We're on our, our healthy stuff. So to 2021. Ugh. Jesus. I really don't want to do that COVID test tomorrow, bro. Um, I'm not trying to get my brain tapped. That was a very awful feeling the last time I did it. But, uh, yeah. You know. That's it for me. So, anyways. I'm out of here. I'm gonna get to editing this shit.